Okay, everyone. So I wanted to do a video on uh, showing you guys the benefits of using AI um, image generation uh, in your online efforts to build your brand or build your business or for social media or um, course creation or whatever uh, it is that you need to use it for. Uh, there's all obviously AI is a big thing right now. Um, if you're looking for images, unique images, creative image ideas, then you can use tools like uh, AI image generators. There are several to choose from. This particular tutorial, I just want to show you a couple quick things in Leonardo AI image generation. Okay, so it's an app online. Um, you can go into Leonardo. It's leonardo.ai. You can go there and launch the app. Um, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've set up on here. You may have to go and register an account, but you can register a free account. And what will happen is, is they'll give you a bunch of um, tokens for free. Okay. And that's what I currently have. I did have a subscription to this, but I'm not currently using it. So I just stopped my subscription, went back to my free plan to use my free tokens. Um, I've used it several times before for different um, images that I want, wanted created and to mess around and get familiar with it. And that's what I would suggest to you guys. Um, if you want to, if you're interested in finding out about image generation tools like this, then you're going to want to go and try different ones or search on YouTube for videos like this, tutorial videos, um, where you can learn some of the quick ins and outs on creating these images. Now, you just got to keep in mind, um, I think they stepped down the what you get for free. So, I mean, I had a lot more tokens than this, but every time you create images, it'll create you four different uh, images. And so it takes tokens, obviously, for every image that it creates. You can't change the number of images that you want it to create. But um, because what it is, is they want you to obviously, they want you to buy that, uh, buy a plan, a subscription to them. So when you start messing around with these things here, the image dimensions for like uh, different types of social media, or for uh, YouTube or whatever it may be with the different ratios, then they're going to say that it's a subscription or that it's a feature for a paid plan. Oh, they let you do it on here. I'm surprised. Um, anyways, if you go into here, you clicked on em image generation. If you go to try and change this number of images that I want it to create, you can see some of the things that I have created. Um, I was putting an ebook out. So, for example, I came on and said I wanted it to create an ebook for uh, because I operate a uh, educational website for children uh, with my uh, wife at the time. We had set up an educational uh, website that's been online for quite a while. So, I put together an ebook, for example, that could be sold. So when you're looking for ebook covers, for example, it's easy to come into a tool like this and have it create you uh, artwork for your particular ebook. Um, and you can keep having it generate more and more images for you based on um, what you require or what you like, obviously, right? The one thing that you want to keep in mind with um, generating this type of stuff is that uh, AI seems to have issues with text, with fonts. So the fonts sometimes get a little bit funky. This one's okay, but you can see it starts to spell things wrong and starts to, there's, there's little things here and there. If you look, you see where it's made an error or whatever. Um, that one's pretty good too, but this one obviously has spelled it incorrectly. So it is a little bit of an issue at times. So you may have to generate images over again and get a little more specific in your prompts. But you can see here's the prompt right there that it used. Create a vibrant and engaging ebook cover for a preschool education resource featuring 52 lesson plans. OK, 
guy exuding a sense of fun. And this is the big, this is the whole prompt you can see that's popped up in the center there. Now that's one that it, that it created on its own. I put in the general prompt up here. This is the prompt that I had put in at the time. And then it expanded on the prompt itself that you see in this gray box that's popped up in the center. And it's a good idea to look at these prompts because it's giving you an idea of just how detailed you can get in your prompts. And that's the thing when you're creating images or you're creating uh, artwork or whatever it is that you're doing in any AI tool, you want to get as detailed and specific as possible so that it knows exactly what you're looking for. Okay. So that was what I did for some ebook covers, just to give it an idea so that the ebook could be then placed on an ebook platform and could be sold. Okay which is another good business model, by the way, for you to consider, okay? And there's ways to have those written using AI tools as well, but that'll be in another video. Um, you can see other things that I had had it create. Um, I wanted an image depicting uh, a screen with um, arrows showing an upward trend in an investment, and that's what it did. Here is the the expanded prompt that it created. I had put something on there just about basically wanting it to create a laptop open and on the screen I wanted it to show, you know, uh, investment information showing an upward trend, uh, somebody having made money in an investment. But it, as you can see, it expanded that prompt on its own. Okay, so it's pretty good. It's pretty amazing how these tools work. Um, but again, you can see the, this one's good. This one's good. This one here, you can see the font gets a little funky. So if you're good with graphic programs like, uh, I don't know, uh, Krita or Krita, however you want to pronounce it, or um, one of the free online graphic, graphic images, uh, image editors or something like that, or an Adobe Illustrator, and you can go in there and fix this font yourself, then you're all set to go. If not, then you want to really watch uh, how much font you have used in your image. You know, you could maybe specify in here not to put any font in, right? Because font, it definitely has an issue with font in many cases. You'll get the odd ones, like I said, where it's okay, but then they start to get a little, a little wonky with their font capabilities right now. You can see down here, what I had done is created an image of a, of a woman. Um, this is for a, uh, this was for, I believe I was using it for a social media platform to get people's attention, or I was using it on a platform like a Pinterest to promote something in showing somebody who is excited because they had made money from an investment. And I told it exactly what I wanted. I didn't get this elaborate when I put my prompt in, but you can see this is the prompt that it ended up using. It expanded and put the prompt uh, very detailed, like you see in the gray box with the white lettering that's popped up in the center of the screen. So it it expands on the prompts that you put in. All right. So and you can see other things I've created on here. I didn't like this. The realism wasn't good, so I didn't I didn't want those. So if you don't want images that you've created, you can go in and you can simply remove them. But as you can see here, because I'm no longer a paid uh, member of this program, now it won't let me delete the image. I have to upgrade to premium to delete images. Okay, But you would go in there, you click on your image and delete it. When you are a paid member, you can go in here, you can tell it the number of images that you want it to create. Because, you're on a f because I'm under a free plan right now at this time, it'll create four images for me all the time. And the reason they do that is because they want to use as many tokens that they've given you for free as possible, right? They don't want you to be able to say, just create me one image or two images, because um, then your tokens are going to last longer. If you're a paid member, you can go in here and select the number of images. You can, so I can select the ratio right now. I can't change the size from medium I think I can go to small or medium, but I can't go to large. As you can see, it says it's a premium feature. Okay, quality, same thing. This is a premium feature. So it's creating fast mode, but high quality. The higher the quality, then it's a premium feature. 
Um, there's not as much I can show you in this because it is a free option, but I'm just showing you the options that you have. Um, if I created a prompt right now, which I'm going to do in one second, you can see that it's going to it's going to generate my four images, but it's going to be uh, 24 tokens, so about six tokens per image. Um, like I said, when you have a paid membership, you can go in there and you can change all this stuff, and you can mess around with the filters. There's filters. There's all sorts of different things you can do to get different um, types of realism. These are other images that I created. You can see they get pretty realistic. And these are great if you're going to create social media videos, um, etc. Uh, another thing that AI has a problem with, you can tell, is fingers and hands. You can see it's made some funky fingers here. There's five fingers and one thumb with a nail. So I was just messing around with things. I've used different images in the past. Um, I'll show you. So what I did here, this is going to be of interest to you too. So I have a web course that I'm putting out. And if you want to create software boxes, then you can do that as well. So when you look in here at the software boxes, um, you can see some of the, the things that it's generated on its own just from the uh, prompt that is showing at the bottom. See, it says, create me a software box or package. Um, that depicts artwork and graphics relating to digital marketing as well as including a bullseye and money or whatever else I put in the prompt. But these are things that have been generated through Leonardo. So um, you can see the different ones that it came up with and I tweaked different things. These are also images that were created um, for an AI uh, female. I was creating a social um, influencer channel and I had it create um, images of a girl uh, to promote this particular platform. And you can see just how amazing some of them are, how realistic they are. And these are all AI generated. So there's a lot of things that can be done. Leonardo is a good tool. Um, I have a link in the description. If you're interested, you can check it out, sign up, at least get a free account. And then from there, like I said, you can look at all these different advanced features, fine tune models, training and data sets, etc. Uh, over at the side, all these different things you can do upscalers to make your image to upscale your image and improve the resolution, etc. All these different things. There's so many different things. You can add motion, you can do all this. So I'm going to put out a series of videos and I'm going to explain just, you know, step by step what I can do. I'll explain um, some of these little features, these filters, etc. So that you can get an idea of how Leonardo can work to help create you unique uh, creative images. Um, just looking around on the homepage for um, Leonardo, you'll see some of the amazing images that people have created. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview in this particular video just to show you what is possible. Um, and in some of the other videos I'm going to upload, I'm going to actually demonstrate doing a couple of different things and then you'll see what types of um, what the process is to create simple images or to create really highly realistic 3D type images that you can use for your social media, for your videos, for your uh, course creation, um, whatever. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, but keep an eye out for my next video where I'll do, uh, I'll keep the video shorter and I'll just do a quick overview on how to create, for example, uh, create a software box, right, to give the illusion or to to represent your product if you're a course creator, for example, like I did here, okay, and you'll see how it works to create one of those. So I'll see you in the next video.